It's been two weeks since the Central Coast got hit hard by storms. There is still much cleaning left to do, and many are wondering what to do with all that debris. KSBY News anchor Claudia Busio has more on where you can dump that debris for free. The San Luis Obispo County Office of Emergency Services has made available collection bins for residents to drop off storm-related trash. Here's how you can access those bins. Some rugs. And stuff. Douglas Romain is sorting through remnants of the storm. We were fortunately not flooded in our house. Uh, our garage flooded and of course our property did as well. So what I brought today was mostly carpets and things that were in the garage and things around the house that are beyond repair. Santa Margarita is one of the storm related debris collection sites that San Luis Obispo County opened up on Monday. And mostly now it's cleaning stuff up, throwing out stuff like this. And I'm just grateful that this is here because I was I've been thinking as I've been piling stuff, this isn't going to fit in our trash bin. There are four sites open between 8 a.m. and noon through Saturday. Right now, dumpsters are in very high demand, so we're able to offer the service this week only. Bins are located at the Oceano Airport parking lot, Santa Margarita Community Hall parking lot, Creston Rodeo Grounds, and the Nipomo Community Services District. Every location is staffed with a county employee who will assist you in sorting your debris due to state and federal regulations. It does have to be sorted. If you are dropping off debris, come prepared. Um, you're responsible for unloading your debris and loading it so make sure that you wear proper footwear that you have gloves that you have eye protection we want to make sure everyone is safe so what's allowed yard waste like trees or pieces of fences it could be furniture there are some exceptions make sure no household hazardous waste no e-waste and no soil there isn't a specific service for folks without a truck to haul debris but here's what the county recommends not through the county we do have a page on our recoverslow.org website dedicated to debris removal so there's information there if you can't get to one of our sites on um, all of our local landfills or other services that you can obtain to help get rid of your debris. You can also try asking a neighbor or friend with a truck to help you load up all that storm debris to drop it off at a collection site. In the studio, Claudia Busio, KSBY News. You do not have to provide any documentation to access the free services. You can find a list of sites on our website, ksby.com.